Hello everybody, my name is Vinath from Global Customer Support and I'm going to show you today how to create a web service consumer transformation in Power Center. So um, our agenda for today is uh, how to create a web service consumer transformation, develop a mapping with web service consumer and run the session against it and then check for the results. Also I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, web service security within the web service consumer transformation so I'm gonna open the designer uh, the power center designer and I'm gonna create a web service consumer transformation so first thing is uh, uh, you need to go to the transformation tab uh, I'm gonna create a usable transformation so uh, I'm in the transformation developer uh, icon and then when you go to the transformation create and then I'm gonna select the web service consumer and, and I'm gonna name it as web service test and then it lasts for the URL of the visual or the physical visual file itself it's it's it can be uh, it's it's optional but uh, I'm gonna choose right now the URL um, it is even okay to choose the physical visual file that is on the local directory so um, I'm gonna show you a simple example of uh, the web service that is available publicly it's it's uh, it's something like a, a temperature conversion like if you give a, a value in Celsius it's gonna give you in Fahrenheit or else it's a vice versa if you gonna give the value in a Fahrenheit it's gonna give you a back in Celsius so I'm gonna use that web services which is available in W3 schools uh, it's a pretty simple visual so I'm going to create the web service consumer transformation, click on open and then it will ask me to choose which operation that I want to use in my uh, web service consumer. So I'm going to use uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius and then I click on that operation and then I'm going to go to the next and then I'm going to click on the finish button. So now um, the web service consumer transformation is created. So now I need to create the mapping. So. I'm going to name it as a map test and then click on OK. So it will ask me to choose the source which I have it already available with a very simple one column table and then I'm going to choose the web service consumer transformation and the target which is nothing but a flat file. So here in web service consumer you would see two groups. One is the input group and other one is the output group. So input I'm gonna pass a Fahrenheit value, so which is from my source, and then I'm gonna choose my target group that is a Fahrenheit to Celsius output value to my target flat file. So I'm gonna save the mapping here. Now the mapping is valid. So before we move on to workflow manager, I wanted to talk something about a simple feature within the web service consumer so if you, if you edit a particular um, web service consumer transformation and go to the web service consumer properties you would see a, a WS security type so this option is not available prior to 9x that is 901 or 91 because this is a new feature from 901 version of power center so this is nothing but uh, a lot of web service provider uh, accepts the username and password for authentication purpose within the SOAP request. So uh, as, as a web service consumer uh, transformation creates the SOAP request dynamically, we have an option to choose the security type as password and then we can uh, send the SOAP request along with the user credentials within the SOAP request. For that purpose, you need to specify a username and password. So when you enable this, web service security type to password text and then click on apply and okay it would add two pro pro, pro I mean two attributes that is nothing but the username and password so you have to create a expression transformation before the consumer and then hard code the value and then link that particular values to the username and password so this is just for an example but with our whistle I'm not gonna give you that one but I'm just want to show you how it works so this is how we this web service security is uh, enabled within the consumer transformation so when I go back to the properties and then choose back to none that properties would would be gone so that's it so now um, our mapping is ready and I'm gonna generate a workflow for it 
So I'm going to create a workflow with a non-reusable session. Yep. So I'm going to create the session name as something like sample. And then next, yes, I need to create a configuration for the source because then click on OK next yeah the workflow is generated successfully here so now if I go back to the workflow manager and then try to check the workflow here now our workflow and uh, sessions are created successfully so I'm gonna double check if my connection source value is right and then I'm gonna run the workflow so so everything is set so now um, I'm gonna run the session so basically from the designer uh, if you want to look up what is the value in the source I can show you that from the preview data So I'm going to choose the connection and then click on the connect and it's going to give a value here. So my source value is 91 which is I'm passing into the web service consumer as a Fahrenheit input value. So the written result should be in Celsius. So 91 is the value out here. So when I go back to the workflow manager and I'm all set to run the workflow and then click on the start workflow. So I'm just waiting on here yeah the workflow is succeeded so it's a pretty normal tracing here so I'm gonna go back to my target file and then check if it's created successfully yeah, this is my unique server where my Informatica service is running and this is the path where my target file is created so I'm gonna do ls on that and I'm gonna check the file right away Yeah, I got the value as 32.77 Celsius because I'm passing 91 value as a Fahrenheit and the web service processed that value and written back the response which is 32.7. So there you go. So it came back with the results. So today you have uh, seen how to create a web service consumer transformation in Power Center. Again, my name is Vinath and we would love to hear from you. You can always email support videos at informatica.com. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.